I got the book actually. Uh, one of the producers gave gave me the book about uh, in 2019, and uh, I thought it was a very powerful story, very emotional. Um, I didn't know if it was possible to make it into a show because it doesn't really have a conclusion. They're still fighting. We you were basically testing. Uh, I was, yeah. I, I don't like to use that word because I think the process is... Okay, uh, exploring is a better word. Exploring is a better word. <laughs> Every project is unique. This particular one is a true story and it's extremely tragic. I mean, I'm not expecting not <laughs> an intelligent answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Why will Eddie not give a very intelligent answer or a very articulate answer? Because I am messed up anyway. <laughs> I... coming uh, these are the students who hopefully will be the flag bearer of actor prepares for the next so many generations and uh, apart from the teaching great teaching that that's done by the amazing teachers that we have we also have these sessions where uh, we talk to people who have done extraordinary work we are choosy about it <laughs> and uh, I personally feel that Trial by Fire is one of the finest uh, shows that I've seen and, uh, and that's why you are here, Prashant. How did the idea come to your mind of wanting to make this series and where, when did it gen generate it? Um, so, thank you sir for having us and thank you all for, for coming and uh, for being here and having us here. Um, uh, so, I got the book actually, uh, one of the producers gave, gave me the book about uh, in 2019. And uh, I thought it was a very powerful story, very emotional. Um, I didn't know if it was possible to make it into a show because it doesn't really have a conclusion. They're still fighting. The, con the victory is that they are still fighting. They've refused to accept defeat. It spanned 25 years. There were no mysteries, no twists, no turns, no... Uh, the main opponent was basically the system and uh, inaction and stagnancy. So. How do you make a series about something like that, which itself presents itself as very, no drama, you know, in the traditional sense of it. But uh, I think that became an interesting challenge. And uh, I think in some ways that's true to what a, a hero really is in terms of fighting regardless of the outcome and finding that courage within you. And, and I thought the Krishnamurtis were, were examples of that and that if we could find in ourselves a fraction of that courage to stand up and fight for what we believe in, then maybe that <coughs> things would be quite different. Um, and then also, you know, there was something, you know, it wasn't this huge event that took place in the distant past. It, it's, some, it's a cinema. It's a place we all go to. It's a, um, so I think those two things, I mean, we feel that it was relevant and, and important and, and potentially even inspiring. That's sort of how I came Prashant to. also made an amazing film which was uh, very loved uh, in Sundance Film Festival called Amrika with R-E-E-K-A. -E uh, U-M-R-I-K-A. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Amrika, which was a fabulous film. Um, how did you decide to, uh, this for this amazing two people who have taken the series forward. How did you decide that? So, I, you know, I've known both of their, their work, um, you know, for a long time. Uh, Abhay, um, you know, obviously, you know, I've, I've known yeah. his, his, his very, you know, uh, much loved work, you know, um, 
and and Rajshreed, you know, has done a couple of fantastic films. There's a film called S Durga, which uh, Sexy Durga, which she her performance was absolutely stunning. So I've known of, I wanted, you know, obviously wanted to work with them. I Abey and I just started discussing. He read the script. You know, we weren't sure if he would like it, and then through the discussions, you know, he was responding to it, and then he sort of took that leap of faith on on the project, which uh, and we were of course thrilled because uh, he's an actor who I've admired for a long time and wanted to see, you know, uh, back on screen in a, in a big way. Um, and uh, and Rachi, so you know, Rachi and I have known each other very briefly. We met once and. Um, always wanted to work with her um, but you know the role was so kind of uh, difficult that uh, you know I, I asked her if she would kindly kind of just come in and explore with me a little bit and and we you were basically testing uh, I was yeah I, I don't like to use that word because I think the process is okay, uh, exploring is a exploring better is a better word <laughs> um, so you know she That's came the in. word Joshua used for me <laughs> when he was <laughs> testing me for the thing yeah I'm glad that that's a good word uh, exploring. So, exploring uh, the talent is a great word. Yeah. If you say screen test, it has a feeling of failure and uh, success. Yeah. Ki feeling aati hai. And that's, yeah. that's, a, I mean, not so that's to, something much great thing to learn. Yeah. yeah, I mean, not to digress or anything, but you know, that is a problem in the way that you know, actors are, are given chances. But anyway, so Ranchi came in and we did that one scene where um, she, uh, you know, she finds out that her friend's son uh, is alive um, and she did it and the first time she did it we were all kind of she brought so much emotion to it that we all kind of just we were all moved and very moved all of us the casting director my associate director and, and then we just kind of said okay great you know and uh, we knew immediately that um, that it was her so I think she said that we texted her basically on 13 January 2020 exactly two years 20. Uh, yeah 20 21. Uh, 20, 21 so exactly to the day, two years be, uh, before the release. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. Now, you have done a lot of You've been selective about choosing the kind of films that you've done. I'll tell you my reaction when I started watching this series dekhna shuru kiya tha because <coughs> I also happened to be it. But I did it based on a conversation with you. Maybe mm -hmm. you do not know. To me, uh, kindness of a director is very important. I think directors need to be very kind. My best job is when the director is kind. If someone wants to criticize the director, it's important to criticize. But somehow I feel that when a person is uh, inspiring you and encouraging you, I give my best. Yeah. Yeah. When a person says, Yaar, ab corona is not going to And throwing, I will not be able to give my best. You were very kind to me on the phone. <laughs> in your, and you are a kind person. So there was no way that I was not going to do that. How did you decide, uh, so I was telling you, sorry, I was telling you how it happened to me when I started watching the series and I started listening to the series until I started listening to the series. Then I saw, I watch 15 minutes of any series, then after that, next day I don't have it. I saw, there was a lurking, I will not call it only sadness, but there was a lurking sadness when I was watching it and yet it was not depressing me. Hmm. So, I wanted to watch the next episode and then the next episode and these two performances uh, kept me glued to it and uh, how did you approach, apart from the instructions by the director or what is the better word for instructions? Explore. Exp uh, yeah. no, no, Conversations. 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 These people who are out there, they talk to each other and talk to each other. Apart from the script was good and everything, but because uh, I worked with him, how did you, on your own, work on the role? What was your process? <sighs> on my own. Um, so obviously, the, Prashant had briefed us uh, about the dynamics of the relationship. I um, had discussions of my character with him as well, how he's seeing it. Took a few points. So you collect all that data, that information, and you sit with it this every project is unique this particular one is a true story and it's extremely tragic so i found myself troubled because you're going to recreate something so tragic and i find and i think i'm not alone i think most people are like this it's very easy for me to 
have empathy for another, but really not have so much empathy for myself. I'm fine where I am. Mm. What is your problem? What is, look at him, look at her, look at their situation, blah, 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 blah. So I was very easily able to go into that. And um, the more I explored their tragedy, the more thankful I was for who I am, where I am, what I have. And that just kind of slipped me into position. Uh, at some point, you just have to, um, I keep saying this over and over again now, it's like, and I use it for many different situations, like just get over yourself. Mm. Uh, in this case, it was being so grateful for where I am and who I have in my life and what I have in my life. So it's philosophical, it's emotional, it's humanitarian. That came about because this was such a tragic routine. Yeah. You know, and I came with that to the set. Wonderful. I'll come back to you about, about <laughs> the question. But Rajni, what was your process? Uh, because uh, I'll tell you why I'm asking this question because somehow it reminded me of my first film. I was 28 years old and I played a 65 year old man who was dealing with the loss of his only child, uh, Saranj. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was not even married, no, no ch child, but I had to go through what I had to go through. Mm -hmm. uh, so what did you, what was the process that, aapne kya process chuna? to portray Neelam on screen. Mm -hmm. Her journey is, though it's a tragic uh, event and everything, but it's very, very, very inspiring for me. First time when I got the uh, script and I was going through all the details because I'm a very, <clears throat> I like to study. I like to go through a process, just like, you know, what we learn and, uh, as an actor. You know, go through the imagination, go through the, uh, you know, uh, inner monologue with everything. So I, uh, I go through that process. I like to sit with my script and, you know, demark it properly and go through that, you know, okay. Because anyways, we were not shooting linear. Mm. But you have to be so prepared that if you are shooting uh, 55 and if you are shooting 35, then you know how your dynamic scene should number 55 work. and scene yeah. number yeah. yeah, means like you know, you're playing uh, age yeah. 55 age, uh, uh, to age. 60, uh, age, age 55 to 60 years. and because I, I don't know how many people have seen the show. So you know what I'm talking, so we age in this show. So we were shooting, you know, in a one day we were shooting the old also, we were shooting the young girl. So we had to keep that thing in your head. That okay, uh, you have to be prepared for the space at that time, and then so I I normally prepare myself in such a way where uh, uh, the internal process is there, emotional truth I carry with all my sequences, but I have to uh, you know like physical that whole continuity of it you know because how she is aging. Uh, uh, so what was what the age group from where to where you had to reach? We were around 35 to 58 to 90. 60. 60, yeah. Okay. yeah. So 35 to 60, that was a, a 20 year of 20, 22 year of period we were shown. So, um, so yeah, like, you know, the physical continuity. Uh, and I always make a point that, uh, you know, what happens in between? Uh, even the pauses, even there are no lines, or uh, what are what exactly she's saying in that? Even a look, because camera is on you over here, so you you cannot lie to the camera. Like and in theater, you can always make a little more gesture, and still you can convey a, a scene. Uh, but when it comes, the camera is on you, like here. It's you have to imagine that there are certain things is happening. Like we do imagine it. Do you do imagination exercises? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, like creating something just like, okay, you open a bottle and you're drinking a water and everything. Yeah, any, any particular thing. So it's exactly when your camera is here like this, you have to kind of start imagining 
the use your imagination exercise over there where you are actually feeling everything but not fully but not Fully. fully like you cannot go like it happens like you know because it pains it the 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 show and the work was very difficult for me it took a toll on me mentally physically emotionally but then as an actor it's very important that okay you're there not fully come back to it breathe in between because you know you have to prepare yourself for some other battle so i don't know if i'm no, no, i think your i think also 33 to 60 is a difficult age Uh, physically to make it's not much of a uh, i'm coming back again to my film because i was twin i according to me i thought 65 year old man will be like this yeah i'm 67 now i don't look like that old man at all <laughs> yeah yeah but my imagination was there yeah yeah uh, how old were you that time 28 Wow. Yeah. It, That's uh, what I I kept seeing like because I've seen my mother uh you know how she changed or like you know how she mm, had a little that was with him huh? and everything and how she walked I think that I observed a lot. Yes. Uh, and I'm I'm basically a very observer person so I I know whom I have to you know keep a, keep as a memory bank and right. portray for my other characters so I'm always a you know take <laughs> You had a uh you had everybody was uh, it's happened uh, say about 26 years back this tragedy mm -hmm. i remember where i was <coughs> exactly i think all of us it's like uh, that 2611 or it's like 911 yeah. similarly upahar was that like that yeah. and were you looking consciously for actors who looked like krishna murtis or who behaved like because I, you made mm -hmm. me speak to mrs krishna murti on face time sure and there was a lot of uh, yeah. resemblance in her case i did not get to see mr krishnamurthy um i you know i think that's a slippery slope you know you can go very far with prosthetics and uh, mimicking the actor and sort of trying to embody the physical aspects that's definitely a concern but i didn't think that we should prioritize it and we discussed it, it that's not what is the essence of those two people so the other thing is that these uh, these guys had to do some really difficult stuff very primal feelings i mean the experience of losing a child it's not something that's imaginable it's not something that it's a there's no word for a parent who's lost a child in any language you know there's uh because it's unimaginable so if you're asking an actor to do that you don't really want them to be thinking how would the krishnamurtis react in this situation because the audience will feel it you want them to be free and to 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 embody that moment uh so it's it's a delicate balance obviously you know the you know and they were both very proactive with working with the makeup team and kind of and the the costume team to kind of own it a little bit and own their transformation but we were i think our job was really to kind of uh create an environment where they could be in the moment because this is that type of material where the things that are happening to them are so profound uh that the audience will pick it up immediately you know and also we the audiences are desensitized to we see this and treat it so badly so often so how do you how do you make an audience really connect with the performance in that moment it it needs to be true it needs to be really true so i don't know where they go to get that that's not really my job uh how they do it they they have very, I, i get the feeling every actor has a different way of doing it but my job is just to facilitate that um and i think it was really important they were in the moment so we did little but that was not the focus my next question is a little hypothetical question but if this was not a series and it was a film hmm. do you think your approach would have been different towards the actors just overall uh no i think not in spirit uh because aapko lagta hai ki series mein art sets aate episode hain it's time to establish time to do that yeah. film jo hai wo do sawa do ghante ki hai yeah. i'm not talking about the content only just yeah. just overall impact um, uh, I, so i think the form would have been different you know we, this would not have worked and the way we would have treated time and the way we would have treated um uh all that would would have definitely changed but the basic approach the would have stayed, stayed the same especially with regards to 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 actors and uh uh the style of working and uh um yeah so okay so uh, uh this is for both of you when you read the script uh what is that comes to your mind uh forget about that these people were living 
do you first see the physical aspect of the character, means in your mind, or do you want to go uh, in a mental uh, mental way of approaching the thing? Aapke, kya lagta hai? Jaise aapko koi bhi script padne ko milta. Sabse pehle mein kahani padta hoon. I don't approach it with character. Hmm. Nii, aapko kisi ne bola ki ye character aap kar rahe ho. Yeah, yeah, even then. Uske baavajud bhi aap... Uske baavajud bhi mein, thik hai, I'm going to be playing XYZ character. Hmm. But script kaisi hai, kahani kaisi hai. I need to be, see if I get absorbed in that world or not. And, I, and for me personally, I can do that better when I disassociate as an actor. Because hmm. then I'm not focused on my character. I'm focused on everything that makes this special or not special, mm. attractive or unattractive to me. Then if I like that world, that's when I start to look upon the character I'm being considered for and how he fits into that world. What is he contributing to that world? Because uh, then I know better. Okay, this character is passive or active. You know, I'm obviously more attracted to characters that are active uh, not just who are just responding, but then sometimes that can be fun. I did this film called Ek Chalis Ki Last Local where mm. he's passive. Everything yeah. just happening to him yeah. and he ends up with a lot of money, but it was funny. Right. So, you, I see those things. Uh, relatability. How much do I relate? Because if you look at our traditional way of formulaic stuff, that, you know... Relatability, you, ke, matlab, I'm not trying to sort of make it easy for you to understand. I think ki aap, as an actor, Us character ke saath kitna relate kar rahe ho, uh, emotionally basically that's what you mean yeah like if it was the, the the regular formula where you know you have to be a hero you save the girl you beat up 10 guys you don't see those people in real life and mm. I don't relate to that but someone like Shekhar who I play who's just an average guy but he overcomes a David versus Goliath kind of story the system is strong and against him but yet he perseveres or even Dave D when I wanted to contemporize it because I wanted to call out his chauvinism, his obsessive, destructive behavior and how the women were much stronger and, and better characters than he was. And I've lived a life of destruction and obsession myself. So that was something relatable. In Oilaki, it was his ambition, you know, I, I, to make the, the kind of movies I made back 12, 14 years ago was ambitious because nobody wanted to make them and even if you made them, nobody wanted to release them. So, like that I found something that I can relate to because when you find something you relate to, it's a great place to start. It, you don't have to try hard to do something that is already a character of you. Yeah. And for me, the process is always the simplest solution is always the right solution. We tend to overcomplicate things. No, but he's depressed or he's wounded and he's lost this. But think about how you are when you are sad. You might have a cry and then you indulge in something to take that attention away. And you move on and things take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. So you don't make a big deal out of things. So these are the things that I look for in character. But as far as story like this one, I will say in particular, I loved the structure. I mean, that also takes some to eventually get an idea of script structure and it may not take you any time at all. It just depends. Some people have a talent for it. Uh, but I see the structure. I see the movement. I see how my character graph goes to the graph of the story. Um, in this case, the non-linear was very attractive. How he chose to show the incident and the way he showed it because I wasn't comfortable doing a true story like this and then showing the incident. But then how can you not have an impact if you don't show the incident? You, you kind of had to unfortunately show it as well. Like in Delhi Cram, they chose not to show the rape and it was good, they didn't need to. Whereas in this, to illustrate what these people went through and how you, it was avoidable, it highlighted it even more. So I could, I could see great care has been taken in writing this. Uh, great sensitivity has been considered while approaching it. So already I knew as an actor, I would not have to even ask those questions of my director. He's already sensitive, he's already not exploiting. So you see, like all Good. these things come together in, in deciding for me. And there's Actually, a few more Jaise Abhay ne abhi kaha na, ki aapka director kis tarikhe se script ko approach kar raha hai. Is he sensitively writing everything? Is he sensitively seeing everything? So, in fact, mera matlab, mein pehle bhoat, matlab emotionally script ko mein pehle dekhti hu. Ki ye move kar rhi hai nahi mujhe. 
uh, and what exactly is telling me the script? It has to talk to me, okay, this is what you're getting out of this script. Uh, and that's how I read first. Uh, see, honestly, it, it is a huge opportunity for me to work with a director like Prashant Nair, whose work I really admire. So, it was that my first tick mark was because Prashant is there. Mm -hmm. You know, and then the script, of course, I uh, gone through the whole uh, details of the case, Neelam and Shikhar, Shekhar's case and uh, the whole Upahar thing. And I'm like, I'm so honored to actually, you know, play this part. So, I mean, it was tick mark. Then the script came in my hand, then the tick mark. Tha. So, everything was properly tick marked for me. And um, while approaching Neelam also, uh, you know, I like, of course, as you said, we, we don't want to, uh, maybe there is a little resemblance, but not clearly, mm. because she's a little different kind of uh, uh, built and everything. But uh, as Prashant's brief was, you know, you have to make it like it's you. The, you have to find that emotional truth, how you can be there in that situation and how will you handle that so uh hota hai ki as an actor aap emotionally usko apna bana lete ho aur apna banane ki puri tarah se koshish karte ho aap pura skin nahi ban sakte ho kisi bhi character ka par aapko wahan tak pahunchna hai us us real realism mein pahunchna hai jisse aap logon ko lage ki ha are maine maine feel kiya उसने सिर्फ देखा और मुझे लगा कि अरे उसने कितने सारी बातें कह दी उसमें कि वो कितना गुस्सा है और उसे क्या-क्या कहना था बट शी जस्ट लुक्ड एंड शी जस्ट सेट एवरीथिंग तो वो आपको अंदर से कैरी ही करना पड़ेगा देन ओनली यू विल बी एबल टू परफॉर्म इन अ वे या दैट्स आई थिंक इंपॉर्टेंट व्हाट स्टॉप्ड यू फ्रॉम अ टेंप्टेशन ऑफ डूइंग द सेम स्टोरी बट इन अ a little more uh, <coughs> dramatic manner. Okay. <laughs> Be polite. <laughs> no, uh, that's how Elevator. I've learned it from you. <laughs> that we are exploring the question. <laughs> I, I think just because they were uh, real people who've gone through these things, so <coughs> we, I think all departments, all of you also, were very aware of the responsibility of uh, it's someone who's, uh, you know, who's potentially still alive or whose family is alive, who we're going to be portraying on screen. <coughs> so, you know, we need to be respectful and sensitive and always ask the question, are we being exploitative, you know? And I think, you know, as working with all of you, I, I very much felt that you all were also, you know, always asking yourselves that question, as was every single department. So is there, and then also just very frankly, I think audiences are, you know, they, they, they understand that, you know, what we are reading, is that people are appreciating that, that we didn't, in the performances or in the design of it, we didn't tell them what to feel. We, we just tried our best to present the situation and to embody it, but then let them kind of, uh, and this is the big debate, you know, are the audiences ready for it, are they not? And I, I think they are, I think really they are, you know, there's just uh, not, you know, the, we're still operating in an older fashion where we, we need to push it onto people, whereas people understand it, you know, and I think also for actors, that's amazing to let the audience draw it out of you, you know, that it has more, uh, more impact, you know, if you're telling the audience what to feel or if you're just being and the audience is pulling out of it and projecting, then the performance becomes very powerful. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I think <laughs> so all of us, all three of us must have worked with actors, uh, directors who are not very expressive as actors. Who are, whose brief is not uh, what you are. He was very good with at least telling us yeah. this is what he wants and this is the percentage he wants. No, maybe you can cut this, maybe you can bring this. What happens when you work with directors who are not, who are, who are very good directors but not necessarily good with actors, do not know how to draw emotions, how to draw uh, feelings? What, what do you depend on then? Don't say that I haven't worked with the director. No, I was going to say quite the opposite. 
it's not often that it happens but it happens it happens of course uh, like in dev did anurag didn't direct me at all hmm. he didn't say anything like he just let me be but then there was an idea that i'd come up with in a character i knew hmm. so it wasn't even like i was asking him and i think he allowing me to do my thing and not saying anything in terms of as a director to an actor encouraged me to think okay so what i'm doing must be right <laughs> and i continued doing that I and he was happy i have a question in between for that yeah yeah sometimes a director thinks the form is much more important than the yes actor. there are those directors no, too no. yes and mai mai mujhe chahiye aap there was a very famous art house director who said ki mai actors ko furniture ki tarah istemal karta hu mai kisi yeah. se bhi acting karwa sakta hu yeah in the yeah. other room i'll tell you the name of the director <laughs> okay uh, i never worked with him <laughs> anji so, and what you were saying earlier that i would rather and a director inspire me uh, then just be like are yaar why don't you get it out like uh, uh, then get stressed yeah. or like shout at the actor like there are very famous directors who are well known to break the actor yes. you know, physically emotionally they feel that if i break you mm. i get a real clean uh, honest performance out of you yeah. i think those directors have a handicap because mm. there are directors like him who will not break you mm. and will be very patient and will speak you through it and you realize in his grace he's inspiring you uh in his directions he believes in you and that kind of director is a very healthy director to work with because you come back learning something and the other director who will break you and get a performance out of you no doubt but he clearly can't inspire you and he has the arrogance to think that he's some maestro he or she that breaking you has because you couldn't be capable of performing had you not been broken which is entirely untrue you don't have to be broken to perform and don't ever let him really teach you that if some if you find yourself there then just live through it cuz some most of these directors are very big and you can't say anything um and it's so easy to manipulate them just pretend like you're broken mm. you know i used to do seriously yeah they're not worth it <laughs> what about you rashi what how how will you uh, have you been have you experienced something like this where the director is very good when his craft and the writing is very good but he is not able to uh, tell you what he he was not very communicative or he is not capable yeah. of what do you do then uh so i have not done a lot of work i have done very little work and independent cinema mm. uh i have done and couple of them have really inspired me uh but couple of them really broke me Mm. you know and uh, as uh, abhay likely said that you know it's very difficult if you don't have a director who break you but don't inspire you who don't mm. understand the process to okay get you back also like okay you know so i i i it was a really tough time mm. for a couple of uh, i won't be able to name the no, no, projects but it was very difficult for me to come back because and when you don't have a sensitive team Mm. like you are doing we're portraying a, ca- a scene or something and you you're into tears after that and then everyone is like why is she crying mm. like oh, why is she quiet like okay come on like you have to move for the next scene and you're like it's just i n- just need one like just give me 30 second to breathe because i've just finished something but a lot of people don't understand that kind next. of a space mm. where you are like they look at you like okay means like hello Mm, get yeah. up and you know move yeah. so i think that sensitivity is very less in our industry like there are people i'm glad uh but there are many people maybe one of them will have that kind of a thing but other may not have you know that the cameraman will come and like you know uh you you preparing and the camera are hey, light 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 yahan pe and then someone will come and dab you this thing so i it's very you know it's not just a one department uh, in our uh, industry uh, we have to have every department uh, sensitive if the they don't understand sorry if, yeah if they don't understand that you know ki what we actors are going through how vulnerable we are when we are performing and if they don't give us the comfort or they don't you know i'm not saying that you know just spoon feed us or do everything but just a comfort a basic comfort ki hum prepare kare hum seen karne wale hai aap ye mat kariye acha ha apni ya aap yahan pe kar are so the the whole man handling which happens on set is 
very like you know i feel i can't work on such sets now i can't work on where you know i'm screaming shouting happening and you know people are not focused nobody knows what script is matlab kitni baar hota hai ki sound wale ko pata hi nahi hota kya scene kya hai so aap matlab 80s mein aur 90s mein to bilkul kaam nahi kar sakte maine 38 saalon mein 534 filmein ki hain wow aur 534 mein se mujhe script sirf 50 ka mila hoga <laughs> baaki sari filmein and yet i am with all my respect and actually they have made great films kai baar to aisa hota tha ki राइटर सुबह सुबह लेके आता था सीन और बोलता था ताजा ताजा लिख के लाया हूँ मैंने ये देखा है बचपन में ऑन सेट ताजा ताजा लिख के लाया हूँ कई बार माचिस के अपना सिगरेट के पैकेट के पीछे डायलॉग लिख के आता है सो यू आर लकी टू बी वर्किंग अनुराग आल्सो डिड द सेम थिंग उसने ऐसे एक ग्रुप को एक मिनट में स्ट्रीट फॉर थ्री इन आई नीड इट वर्क uh i did not have the luxury of choosing uh today's generation of actors have a great choice and that includes some great actors It means mr bachchan has done the maximum amount of work where is which is in real life totally unbelievable but he is doing with so much of conviction and this is what i always yeah. speak to uh people abroad that indian cinema is larger than life would we do the most unbelievable things with so much of conviction that 1.4 billion people believe us hmm. nowhere in the world actors are revered the way they are act, revered here we are <coughs> part of their life will you do a comedy which i'm sure you are but you or do a role which is uh, not up to your sensitivity but it's a, it's an interesting role you will do that yeah. and you do not um, and it it makes you do uh, things which are not aesthetically something which are not uh, which you don't believe in as a person see i don't judge my characters uh but i cannot uh, get into a derogatory way hmm. i I don't want that it has it is written in a certain way or portrayed in a certain way which is derogatory. Uh if it's aesthetically better then I don't mind but it has to be you know like kept all the boxes key okay. We are not See honestly I'll tell you sir I I come from a small town. I which is Aurangabad. All right. तो मैं जब यहाँ पहली बार आई तो इनिशियली आई हैव एब्सुल अगेन आई हैड नो चॉइस तो थिएटर विटर आर यू ट्रेंड एक्ट्रेस यस सर आई आर ट्रेंड फ्रॉम आई स्टडीड इन वेस्लिंग वर्ड्स ओके सो आई केम सो दिस अ जर्नी आई फ्रॉम औरंगाबाद में पूना में पढ़ने के लिए आई थी फिर मैं वहाँ पे आई आई वर्क इन एडवर्टाइजिंग फॉर मैनी ईयर्स टू सपोर्ट माई एजुकेशन एंड देन आई क्विट वन फाइन डे बिकॉज द जॉय वॉज ऑलवेज थिएटर and uh, i didn't wanted to go to fti uh, because i wanted to leave pune so there was a ek hota hai na ki aap ek jagah se aap nikalna chahte ho to ab nikal gaye and bombay aa gayi main so bombay there is i was not knowing anyone so uh, whatever saved money i had wrestling was was the first option which everyone was telling me and uh, i got a little uh, uh, this thing also and i joined there but that gave me a lot of uh, uh confidence uh and uh, when i came out from the wrestling world of course matlab i i joined uh, nasir sir's motley because i studied under nasir sir and rob reese from actor studio so uh, theater gave me a lot of space i started traveling uh i started volunteering for a lot of social causes so that became my life बट वही है कि चांसेस चॉइसेस तो ऐसा आपको मिल नहीं सकते क्योंकि आप किसी को भी नहीं जानते हो यहाँ पर आपको ऑडिशन के रेस में तो रखना ही रहना ही पड़ता है सो आई यूज टू ऑडिशन ऑडिशन एंड ऑडिशन एंड ऑडिशन बट कुछ नहीं होता था वट एवर लिटिल वर्क आई यूज टू गेट कि कभी एक सीन कर लिया कभी एक सीन कर लिया बट 
social work gave me a lot of space at that time i uh, started working in villages uh, and uh, the choices also became like that the literature opened up the world cinema opened up uh, and uh, social work gave me a very different kind of a base for me ki okay I, what kind of work i would like to do that doesn't mean that i have not done bad work i've done one senior yahan pe kar liya kabhi serial mein kuch kaam kar liya kabhi kuch kar liya just to little bit whatever support i had par uh, uh, angry indian goddesses jab mujhe mila it was 2013 14 which one angry indian goddesses yes. uh, yeah. which was in um, toronto film festival right, which opened right, in toronto पैन नलिन जिसकी जिनकी अभी फिल्म ऑस्कर में भी है तो उनकी फिल्म जब मुझे मिली आई मेट दिलीप शंकर हु इज अगेन माई मैंटोर ओनली तो ही ही टॉट मी एक्टिंग विद अ वेरी स्पिरिचुअल वे कि आप एक किरदार में जब कैसे घुसते हो और आप उसको उसके उसके उससे बाहर कैसे आते हो तो दैट होल प्रोसेस ऑफ यू नो एंड आई हैव लर्न दैट यू नो हाउ ब्यूटिफुली Nalin and Dilip Shankar handle actors on set. How beautifully the team, the Swapna, our uh, DOP, our everyone was understood what we are, we all were doing. You know, uh, they were giving us space, but they were, uh, you know, handling all of us so emotionally very well. So, I just felt that this set is set. Though I have worked chota bota here, here, where there is no such thing as feeling that there is no respect for anyone here. and it's just a star will come and that person will only get respect rest is like are are kya kar rahe ho yaar yahan pe so i learned the respect uh, and love for cinema through uh, with angry indian goddesses wahan se thoda sa phir journey shuru hui and then uh, choices bahut kam milte the but then i uh, my social work started so i adopted one village where i worked on water and everything so i have used to started spending more time in my villages uh, working for farmers of marathwada and phir ek chhota mota phir durga mila phir kahi manto mila phir uh, sacred games mila phir uh, main ek school banane chali gayi ek school banayi to maine ab tak teen school banaye gaon mein to phir main wahan pe zyada time spend kar rahi hu because i feel ki main jin kahaniyon ko dikha rahi hu on screen jaise durga ho ya Lakshmi or from goddesses is still suffering on ground and i don't know this something shifted in me ki kaam hota rahega par agar main on ground action nahi karungi agar logo ki zindagi mujhe sirf main cinema se nahi badal sakti hu uh mujhe uske liye kaam karna hi padega because i come from a farmer's background my father was a farmer to wo shift hua and the choices also became like that and uh, so that doesn't mean that i didn't took bold decision i took bold decision because i believe uh, ki as an actor i want to explore in every spaces ye sab naye hain aur ye abhi 3 mahina course karke bahar niklenge aur sabse bada hota hai ki maine 15 audition de diye 200 audition de diye kaam kyun nahi mil raha kya luck luck zyada important hai ya mehnat zyada important hai i don't like to tell about what i went through being a gold medalist from a drama school uh, for three years sleeping on the railway platforms etc etc but and i be- think i belong to this generation also but there is an impatience that mera kuch ho kyun nahi raha mm-hmm. so what is your advice for uh, uh, for people who are just going to get out of this school uh, apart from auditioning how should they conduct you've gone through your own ups and downs of life so that's why advice from because you've experienced yourself meal will mean a lot to them <laughs> i've been on all sides of yeah. of the game so to speak yeah uh one is take auditions as a opportunity to just explore and expand your own craft yeah um there will be many auditions instead of seeing like oh i he nahi mila ab ag ye milega ke nahi ab ye bhi nahi mila wo bhi nahi mila instead of looking at it that way look at it as though more and more opportunities to continue improving yourself then there is that case of you actually might do a really good audition but you still don't get it um i think take out right and wrong from your vocabulary there's no rights there's no wrongs 
Um, at the same time, I had a very idealistic view of the world. Like I, I wanted my ideals to be that which manifest and guide me and, and experiences I have are within that scope. It's not an ideal world. So instead of fighting that fact and feeling sorry for yourself or fighting back and getting angry, you just have to accept it and see what kind of a world is it that we live in. Because you'd be more disappointed if idealistic, but you won't be disappointed if you're just open to see, okay, what is it that this world is made of? Uh, as an actor, I think it's very easy to form in, fall into this sort of victim mentality, like, oh, so-and-so got it because of this and this reason, or I'm from this background, and so mm -hmm. I have it harder than that person who's from that background. When you start comparing yourself to others, even if what you're saying is true, it's not going to help you. It just isn't. Um, I hope acting is the space for you. I hope acting is the career that will be yours. But it doesn't happen for everyone. And that may be because you're not cut out for it. That also may be that you're brilliantly talented, but you still don't. I thought that if you're talented, definitely you'd make it. And you realize acting talent alone doesn't give you success. And there'll be many people out there who have all the talent in the world, but get nowhere. Because we live in a world which is not just delivering uh, your performance. It's how you conduct yourself. It's who you meet. It's how you... Um, adjust within this world of filmmaking and what are you willing to do, what are you willing not to do. Um, and so it's not an easy place to be. So if it doesn't work out for you, don't judge yourself. You mm, know, it could, be, it could be that you didn't have the talent. That doesn't mean you don't have talent, it just means your talents lie somewhere else. But you're so stuck on acting that you're not looking at where your talents actually lie. It could be that you have talent for acting, but you don't have the talent to cut it in this industry and the way it functions and the way people function and the systemic uh, structures we have in position. Does that mean you should give up? Well, if you can't adjust to the system and you, it's constantly triggering you, then maybe you should choose something else, even though you have the talent. So you see what I'm trying to get at? Yeah. It's, it's removing, because I suffered a lot. This is right and that is wrong. I suffered a lot you know, with those sort of <coughs> principles. And I realized taking that out helped me a lot. And then doing my best, seeing what are the advantages I have around me and focusing only on the positives. And it's weird. I know a lot of books are written about manifestation and where your focus is and <laughs> all that stuff. But it's kind of true. It is because if you, there's a lot of negatives that you can focus on. Yeah. And, and they're there, they're fact. They're true, and it's sometimes hard to find the positives, but when you focus on the positives, give it some time, and you'll see certain things around you just falling into place. They just do. Patience I, is a very big thing to have. Yeah, I feel that, I feel if there is not giving up is the option that you have taken, then you have to continue. Prashant, you deal with great uh, sensitivity with actors. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to. I want you to tell this n new lot of actors. How do you think they should deal with disappointments, depressions, mm. l failures, and yet keep the zeal alive? Yeah. So you know the first thing, and I, I've not been doing this forever, but I've been doing this now for you know ten years, and I came to it as an outsider. So being on the other side. What I can tell you is I don't like the audition process. Uh, I think it's hostile. I think it's designed not to bring out the best in an actor. And uh, I don't use it anymore. I, we don't give sides to people. Uh, my casting directors have a strict instruction. They're not going to do give you the lines and uh, you come in and you do the lines because it becomes all about the lines. So what we try to do now is only improv. We give you a character and a situation and the casting director has to have an actor there who will act opposite you and we have tried to approach it in a way that gives, creates an environment where the actor can feel comfortable and we get to know who, who you are as an actor. Unfortunately, this is not the norm, but this, is, this, this comes from a place where the casting process is hostile. So you have to just keep in mind that it's designed not to, not to allow you to show your best side and you can't take it to heart. Um, you can't because it's there, it's just there. The, 
you know, so the first thing I would say is understand that, that, you know, it is not a reflection on you as an actor. And once you understand that, try to get more comfortable with it. Try not to focus too much on the text itself. Try to, you know, it's not you, it's the process that's broken. Um, the other thing I would say is, one thing I've noticed a lot with actors here is they come to Bombay and they get immersed in Bombay and their world becomes other people in the industry and the conversation becomes only mm. actors, industry and you stop growing as people and you stop exposing yourself to life and this is the number one way to kill your future as an actor. You can't stop, you can't live in a bubble. Uh, I, you know, you have to expose yourself to people outside the industry. You have to keep educating yourself. You have to, you, you can't get into this mindset, this fishbowl mindset where it will ruin your, your, yeah. your potential as an actor. Travel, take other jobs if you have to, meet people who don't work in the industry, stay somewhere other than Yari Road. Like, uh, no, seriously, like, yeah, really, like, I think, I think this, this makes, uh, and first of all, yeah. 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 So, the, so that, uh, sorry, I feel very passionately about this and because I understand how hard it is. Uh, and I feel I'm on the other side. And the other thing I can tell you is that, like, because you didn't get a role doesn't mean you haven't been noticed. So, you know, when I first got here, in 2011, uh, I didn't know any casting directors, so I just got a room in uh, in Aram Nagar and I put up a sign saying "Looking for actors," and all sorts of people walked in. You know, it was quite quite an experience. You know, uh, <laughs> but in, <laughs> so in that in that one guy walks in, and I, you know, I didn't know anyone. My sister was operating the camera. She's a she's a doctor. Um, <laughs> And in that one guy comes in and we're like, wow, actually that guy, that guy is pretty good. He just walked in off the street. We're like, that guy has something, you know, he's really good. It's Vicky, it was Vicky Korshall. Um <laughs> You know, so then, you know, for example, I've had, you know, when we were doing Amrika, we've done auditions and we're like, damn, that guy is so good or she's amazing, but we don't have anything that fits. But you remember the person and you're like, I want to work with that person. And sometimes it takes 10 years. But you know, like that, you know, I've auditioned actors like uh, Vijay Verma, Jaydeep Palawat, uh, you know, who I was like, you're so good, you're so good, but I don't have anything for you right now in this role, but I, I will work with you so again. Everybody's not so kind. Huh? Everybody's not so kind. Yeah, yeah but, yeah. but, you know, I, I, I think there are kind people. There I'm are sure. casting directors. I, I, that's why I said everybody is not so kind. Yeah, yeah, but there are, and you'll find them, you'll come across them. You know, you'll, you know, our casting director, for example, Sanjeev Moria, is like that. He's uh, he, he really works with the process. He's, you know, you, you'll find them. So, I mean, I would just say, you know, insulate yourself from the nonsense of the industry. Focus on your craft, focus on life, mm. living life, you know, g g getting your heart broken, going out, you know, I being crazy, feel, all that. I know? also, I think what, what you said was very, very good. And also what you said about working with the farmers and everything. But I, I would like to add something to that, that don't think uh, that sitting in Starbucks or in Prithvi Theater is job. Yeah. That's not, that's luxury. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and today we have five struggles on the beach and we have seen the sun and wow, what is it? When I came here in the beginning, uh, Pamposh, Pamposh used to be there in Bandra, it was a restaurant. जहाँ पर सब लोग स्ट्रगलर शाम को मिलते थे, तो मुझे, you know, first of all you get lot of people over here who tell you how to make it in this industry. आप पता नहीं अब होते हैं कि नहीं, अब अलग-अलग किस्म के, but वो हमेशा होते हैं, भैया ये मत करो, ये मत करो, तो somebody told me पैम्पोश में जाके बैठो, तो मैं जाके बैठ गया, तो वहाँ सात-आठ लोग बैठे थे, दाढ़ी-वाड़े, अधेड़ किस्म के लोग, तो एक मेरे को सब पता है क्या करना होता है <laughs> तो मेरा फ्लैश फॉरवर्ड गया कि आठ साल बाद मैं यहाँ बैठा होऊँगा <laughs> और, और मैं कह रहा हूँ भैया जी आठ साल से स्ट्रगल कर रहा हूँ सो समटाइम्स विच मे नॉट सूट यू समाइम लोनलीनेस इज वेरी क्रिएटिव डेस्परेशन इज वेरी क्रिएटिव सो एज ऑल ऑफ देम सेड इट सॉरी वॉज सेंग समथिंग हाँ so this is very creative. If giving up, as Abhay said very rightly, if you think that you don't have to go to your own village, do it. 
मगर ये कंफ्यूजन करके कि आपने शाम को बैठ के रोज शाम को आप निकलते हैं ऑल्सो वन मोर थिंग दैट आई विल एड टू वट यू सेड इज हैव अ टाइम टेबल एंड रूटीन इन योर लाइफ आई यूज टू लिटरली लिव इन अ स्मॉल चॉल बट आई से एट थर्टी लुक एट द स्काई नाइन ओ क्लॉक गो एंड बाय समथिंग बिकॉज इट गेव यू अंस ऑफ पर्पज इट गेव यू अ डायरेक्शन स्ट्रेंजली और काम नहीं मिलेगा तो कभी ना कभी तो मिलेगा आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट एटीज एटीज में इफ यू डिड नॉट हैव हेयर यू आर नॉट एन एक्टर दिस इज अ वेरी डिग्निफाइड सेक्सी बॉल लुक when you are losing here <laughs> some of them are coming from here some of some of them are going from here and i was so thin that i could see through a keyhole with both my eyes and i was telling people mere ko kaam de do so they used to tell me aap story writer ban jaiye aap assistant director ban jaiye to ab to platforms hi platforms hain there are casting directors there are events there are social uh, the social media thing you need to make make work there are social media thing put our auditions on on your social media rather than you putting you have to be creative yes you, you have, have to be creative, creative. You have to keep it's learning. the best it's the best time ever for for actors right yeah, now. Ever, ever ever for ever. anybody uh, in this field so i just okay. want to add one thing please uh, please i'll be very happy just act for the sake of acting yeah, yeah. don't act for the sake of getting anywhere proving anything yeah. or becoming anything mm. act because that's what you enjoy doing and that will get you something because you're not doing you've already reached your goal mm. yeah. i'm here to perform and i got to perform who cares if it's on this platform or that platform no platform no. it's the satisfaction of doing what you love and just stick to that and what has to come of it will come of it and pick up jobs i think yeah. in, in, uh, as he was saying yeah. different experiences Indulge will add yeah. in that keep learning keep learning different different things and uh, don't follow trend yeah correct don't follow ki ya ye ये फॉर्मूला है इससे ऊपर ऐसा जाते हैं ऊपर ऐसा कोई फॉर्मूला नहीं है इस इंडस्ट्री में आपको बस अपने क्राफ्ट पे काम करना है वही आपको काम देगा ये नहीं है कि आपको ये अच्छा उसने ना पता है क्या कर लिया वो टिकटॉक वीडियो कर लिया फिर वो वैसा बना लिया अच्छा वही बनाते वही करते हैं एंड देन बिकॉज वॉट ही हैज मे बी यू डोंट हैव दैट बट वॉट यू हैव दैट पर्सन डजेंट हैव इट सो वर्क फाइन वॉट यू हैव आप में क्या अच्छा है हम हर इंसान अलग अलग दिखता है और पर हर इंसान की एक खूबी है जो किरदारों में चाहिए आप जिस जिस जगह के हैं वो 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 आपका लहजा उस इसमें काम में आएगा Correct. जरूरी नहीं है कि आपको मतलब अरे आप मेरे मुझे तो अंग्रेजी ही नहीं आती नहीं है आप जिस जगह पे उस जगह के लिए भी आपके पास काम है बट ऐसा नहीं है कि आप सीखना नहीं है आपको वो भी सीखना है पर बस यही है कि भागते मत रहो सांस लो खुद का ख्याल रखो खुद से प्यार करो लोगों का ध्यान रखो और बढ़ते जाओ होगा That was मैं मेरे पास मैं जीरो से आई थी मैं बैठी हूँ यहाँ पर आज मुझे अच्छा लग रहा है तो आप भी यहाँ पर आएंगे अगली बार सर के लिए साथ बैठ के आप हाँ मेरे लिए तो सबसे बड़ी उपलब्धि होगी जैसे दिखते हो वो आपका प्लस पॉइंट है बिकॉज दैट मीन्स आप स्पेशल और डिफरेंट हो आज आपको ऐसा नहीं लगना है कि ऐसा बनना है तभी आपको रोल मिलेगा द वे यू आर आई थिंक दैट द बेस्ट वे बट थैंक यू सो मच इट हैज बीन अ ग्रेट लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस नॉट ओनली फॉर स्टूडेंट बट फॉर मी ऑल्सो द रीजन दैट आई ओपन दिस स्कूल वॉज दैट आई वॉन्टेड टू फील दैट आई हैव सक्सीडेड इन सम बिजनेस because before that i wanted to be a tv tycoon <laughs> and that flopped <laughs> and but i did not realize by opening an acting school it will keep me very contemporary as an actor mm. because yeah. sometimes when the way they approach a scene mm. i do not think that this is also a way of approaching a scene mm. so it has kept me alive with the changing times of uh, acting so thank you for that and kuch humko inko dena mein na hai अच्छा 
just write a, whatever your your thoughts are. Please write. and today we have our first guest lecture at Anupam Care Active Prepares and we are very like lucky to be able to attend the lecture in our very first week and it was a very very wonderful experience with Anupam Care sir, Radhashri ma'am, Prashan sir and Abhay sir. We got to know like many of the things and we got to realize like uh, how to be patient in different situations and how to be dedicated towards our work. So it was a very good day for all of us. Thank you. So hi, my name is Harsip Singh and today at Active Prepares, we met the team of Trial by Fire. So it was a very exciting session. Um, I like the way Abhay sir told us a little bit about the industry. So he told us that the actors are only fame or um, पैसे के लिए एक्टिंग करे तो वो इतना बढ़िया नहीं लगता, राइट? Right? क्योंकि फेम और पैसा आप कहीं भी कमा सकते हो, लेकिन अगर एक एक्टर कोई अच्छा एक्टर बनना है तो उसको एक्टिंग करने में मजा आना चाहिए। वो वो मजे के लिए ही वो अपने एक्सेक्ट एक्सप्रेशन दिखा सकता है। अगर फेम और पैसा आप कहीं भी like they told us कि काफी लोग हैं जो Instagram पे ना criticize करते रहते हैं कि nepotism को काफी चीजों को कि acting ऐसे होनी चाहिए ये क्या कर दिया ये कैसे movie निकाल दी तो Instagram में इतने लोग डालते हैं वो तुम खुद उस industry को change नहीं कर सकते अगर तुम्हें industry में आना है तो तुम्हें वैसे ही काम करना पड़ेगा तुम industry को change नहीं कर सकते तुम अभी से कोई शाहरुख खान या अमिताभ बच्चन नहीं बन गए कि तुम industry को change करोगे जैसे industry है तुम्हें वैसे ही काम करना पड़ेगा तो ये अभय जी ने बहुत अच्छे से समझाया तो बहुत बढ़िया session था we were exciting to see those actors directors and also especially Anupam Khair sir so thank you Anupam Khair sir for bringing them here and making us meet thank you hi my name is Ritura Sharma and today we had this exciting opportunity to meet the cast of the new web series on Netflix, Trial by Fire. And we had the opportunity to meet Raj Sri Ma'am, Abhay Deol sir, and the director of the uh, this um, web series, which is Prashant sir. So uh, we get, uh, got to meet them with them personally, and uh, uh, we interacted with them, asked them different questions about the web series and their journey into the acting world. So. Uh, the, thing, uh, the thing that stuck with me was uh, Rajshri Ma'am's humble beginnings. How she didn't have a background in acting, but she, through her persistence and consistent effort, she is today a big name in this industry. So I would take that away from this um, whole experience today. And obviously we were all uh, starstruck by the amazing cast and we wish them Lots of luck and best of luck to the series. It's doing amazingly well. I loved the story and uh, oh, that's it. Thank you. Hello everyone. This is Rushab from Batch 131 and we were so excited to interact with the team of Trial by Fire and we were so excited to see Abhay sir, Rajeshri ma'am, Naya sir and Anupam Khair sir of course. 
but whom we could relate more is Rajeshree ma'am because we could really relate to what she was saying that she said ki emotion mein rehna padta hai and again there is a switch lekin anupam sir ne unse kaha ki uh, that 80s 90s mein to aap kaam hi nahi kar pate agar aisa hota to then we understand what level of dedication and hard work it needs and i wish all of us try to get it thank you namaste mera naam raj nageshwar hai raj मैं खाने महाराष्ट्र से हूँ आज मुझे एक्टर प्रिपेयर में एक महीना कंप्लीट हो चुका है और आज हमारा पहला गेस्ट लेक्चर था जिसमें राजेश मैम थे अभय सर थे और अपने अनुपम सर थे और अपने डायरेक्टर सर भी थे जो जिन्होंने हमें एक एक्टर के लिए एक्टर के जर्नी के लिए जो जो चीज़ें इम्पोर्टेंट है वो सारी चीज़ें समझाई हैं एक एक्टर को कौन सी कौन सी चीज़ें ऑब्जर्व करनी चाहिए और उसे किस किस चीज़ों से इंस्पिरेशन मिलेगी या उन्हें किन चीज़ों से इंस्पिरेशन मिली है वो चीज़ें उन्होंने हमारे सामने रखी सो so, उन्हीं सारी चीज़ों को ऑब्जर्व करते हुए मैंने एक चीज़ सीखी कि किसी भी चीज़ को ओवर पावर नहीं करना चाहिए अगर ओवर पावर कर रहे भी हो तो वो चीज़ क्या है उसका पता होना बहुत ज़रूरी है और अगर ये ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस अगर अपने में आ गया तो बाहर पचास लोग ऐसे ही पड़े हो सो so, उन्हें हम बीट नहीं कर पाएंगे सो इसीलिए एक न्यूट्रल सेल अपना बाहर लाना बहुत जरूरी है और उसे अगर आप अपन ने आगे कर लिया तो अपन अपने आप आगे करेंगे सो ये मेरे को बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग लगा यहाँ पे हाय ऑल माय नेम इज दनिश नायर आई एम फ्रॉम मुंबई एंड माय बैच नंबर इज 131 सो टुडे वी गॉट दिस गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू अटेंड द गेस्ट लेक्चर फॉर नेटफ्लिक सीरीज ट्रायल बाय फायर एंड वी गॉट द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मीट अबे देव सर राजश्री मैम the director prashant sir and of course our favorite anupam sir uh aaj mujhe as an actor ye seekhne ko mila ki jo bhi visualization sessions hote hain alok sir ke wo rajeshree ma'am ne kaha ki kaise hum usko utilize kar sakte hain to perform a character jaise anupam sir ne kaha ki saransh ka jo unhone role kiya tha 65 years wala at the age of 28 so how to create that aura and wo character mein jaane ke liye jo actors belief hai वो एक्टर प्रिपेयर्स में जितने भी सेशंस होते वी आर लर्निंग दैट एंड आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस फैमिली थैंक यू आई एम गायत्री जयराम एंड आई एम फ्रॉम बैच 130 टुडे वी हैड अ गेस्ट लेक्चर विद द कास्ट ऑफ ट्रायल बाय फायर एंड इट वाज रियली इंसाइटफुल एंड मोर देन एनीथिंग वेरी इंस्पिरेशनल एंड मोटिवेशनल अम अबाउट टू टॉकिंग अबाउट देयर सीरीज एंड हाउ द आईडिया केम अप अबाउट इट दे स्पोक अ लॉट अबाउट द इंडस्ट्री एंड हाउ टू गेट इनटू द इंडस्ट्री कास्टिंग and what really touched me was how to pick yourself up when you feel down when you face a failure and things like that all of them really gave us insights on just how to motivate yourself when you're down and it was really inspirational and motivational and i took a lot of it from it thank you today's guest lecture with the cast and crew of trial by fire was a very informative you know session for young actors like us it gave us a lot of insight on the characterization and basically a process of an actor and it resonated with a lot with what we learn in class so it was one of the great one of a very good session and thank you so much hi everyone so we just had a guest lecture from the cast of trial by fire it was very interesting um one thing that really stood out to me was the way they were talking to us it was, it was very um personable and they were very down to earth they shared lots of uh, industry insights of what it's like to be an actor the struggles you go through and how we can um excel as we are starting our acting journeys also a lot of the stuff they talked about was very relatable to the stuff we're learning in class uh for example they talked a lot about characterization so that's something we're learning about right now how to get into the psyche of the characters and how to pick up on the mannerisms of the character so i found that to be very insightful and we really enjoyed this guest lecture so thank you everyone for this hi i'm tushar and uh, aaj guest lecture tha trial by fire ka actor preparers mein और काफ़ी इंटरेस्टिंग था हमने देखा एंड uh, जो अनुपम के सर ने आज बताया अबाउट एक्टिंग स्ट्रगलिंग स्क्रिप्टिंग कि कैसे क्या होता है इंडस्ट्री में एंड वहाँ के अंदर भी बात अगर उसको हम दिमाग में लेके चलेंगे तो बहुत हेल्पफुल होगा और जो हमें अगर सर ने बताया वो भी काफ़ी लाइक बहुत ज़्यादा था कि स्क्रिप्ट से कैसे जाना है क्या करना है क्या प्रोसेस होना चाहिए और मतलब लाइक ट्रायल बाई फायर का जो पूरा प्रू था बहुत ज़्यादा मतलब इंटरेस्टिंग बातें उस साथ वो अपना ये लेक्चर जो था वो आगे बढ़ा और लाइक एज ए स्टूडेंट मैंने वो चीज़ देखा और बहुत सारी चीज़ वहाँ से मैंने ग्रैब करी और वो चीज़ बहुत ही अच्छा लगा ये एक्टर पेपर्स को मैं थैंक यू बोलूँगा ये गेस्ट लेक्चर के लिए
Hello guys, uh, my name is Sara Azim. Just got done with an amazing and very very learnful experience uh, with a guest picture with the whole cast and crew of Trial by Fire and of course Anupam Khersa as well. And uh, we were told about a lot of things like the first step an actor should take when you get a script, how to decode the script, how to approach the character, something that just was extremely, extremely useful for all of us. And one thing I loved the most was that Anupam Khersa's motivation that uh, it's okay even if you have to wait for some time, the patience, that's the most important thing. Also, I would like to thank Anupam Sir and the whole cast and crew of that to prepare for such an amazing experience.